Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about something really fun, again just at a high level, not the nitty gritty how to do this, it's a long conversation, but in general, what is classification? Well, last time we talked about regression, which is basically predicting a continuous value, so is it 1.75, is it 2, is it 3.9? These are actual continuous values. For classification, we mean this very simple thing, predict, predict what class okay what class i will underline that one here what class something something which you know we called it x last time it's your it's your input predict what class something belongs to all right that's as simple as it is predict what class something belongs to so how many classes are there well by class i just mean what type of thing is it it means type so maybe we're talking about cat versus dog so we have maybe only two classes possible which is okay we have some input x so we have the something i'm talking about what something does this belong to x maybe belongs to cat or dog that's what we're trying to figure out maybe it's red or blue color maybe it is just we're going to call them class one versus class two and class a class b whatever it is it's just these discrete not continuous different types of things so again i want to be very clear about the difference between kind of training this thing which again we don't know how to train it yet but the idea of making the model first actually using the model so last time i introduced the idea in regression and let me just kind of draw the same thing is in regression we had a bunch of data points and i'm not going to draw the x-axis and y-axis the point here was that we we're given this thing called the training set of information i'm going to write that again so training set which means here we have the x and the y so for this stuff we know both for, for each person all these are say a person or whatever it is we have their input and their output but in a actual use of this model we wouldn't have their outputs we would try to guess them so we'd make some line that did something like this so it's okay we based off the training set we made this line therefore for the people where only we have the input we can guess their output so whatever their whatever their x is we say okay your x is this why well, predict your y is this well okay your x is this well i'd predict your y is this that's the point of using the model now in classification it's fairly similar except the difference is that it's something as either class a or class b so say instead just just for simplicity we'll say you're using picture data which is very common research nowadays and in the last 10 10 years it was very very common so say that our data is actually a bunch of pictures say this is picture one picture two picture three picture four and so on however many we have this is the same type of data very similar to that regression thing where we had these data points except i can't plot them on this thing it's a picture and their output is either cat or dog for example okay so these pictures these each of these let's say this is a cat and this is a dog and this is a cat and this is a dog okay so this cat or dog that's that y value i'm talking about it's the output that we're trying to predict just before it was a continuous value now it's just a label and you, you, we'll see that term a lot label it's saying okay that's what this thing is the input is the actual thing itself it is a picture which we'll talk about what that really is but it's an input that has a bunch of information in it you, we know that you can just look at a picture and guess uh, guess what the image is okay so the idea is that we have this training set that looks like this because we have the true labels okay so we have this information where we have their inputs and their corresponding output that we're trying to predict and so we tune our model so that it's like okay i think i understand the pattern somehow i'm now able to guess that given whatever this picture is i can figure out whether it's a cat or dog or not and so that in the future we have other stuff so this is when we'd actually use our model is that we have these new pictures in blue and we don't know what their output is we don't know whether they're a cat or dog that's why we're making the machine learning model so that we have okay um i guess 
I guess that it's a cat. Not, a, not that this is the true label, what it really is. We don't know what it is. We're guessing that this is a cat. We're guessing that this is a dog. And we're guessing that this is a cat based off of what our model learned before. It learned off of this stuff. It said, okay, I think I figure out the pattern between input and output. And here is where we actually use the model. So again, that was classification, a really important topic. I will see you in the next video.